Ladies and gentlemen of the Pi team, I'd like to bring Superman to this day to honor him for his good deed in saving this whole city of Metropolis from the nuclear reactor at my laboratory. I would like to thank you. The world would like to thank you. And the sorority kids have something they want to say, too. Helpless as the man of straw. 
face to hold me in such shock. Now the cheers have turned to cheers. Why must the strongest man in the world be the loneliest man? Tell me why don't they know the strongest man can? Everything will come to their senses. Lois, there's one person I can talk to. I know it must be difficult being known as a friend of mine these days. Don't talk like that, Superman. I'll always be proud to be your friend. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of glad I ran into you because there's something I want to talk to you about. For a long time now, I've been an enormous burden to you. No. I know what a father I must have been. Forget about everything else. Do you realize that you've saved my life 15 times? You know what they say when you save a person's life, that you're responsible for that person from then on. I used to believe it would come down to that. Well, I was wrong. But, Lois, I... No, let me get this out. I just want you to know that from now on, you don't have to worry about me any longer. I guess I've grown up. Isn't that a surprise? You see, I met this man, Jim Morgan. But you only met last week. Yes, that was the week I grew up. Look, Superman. You've got enough on your mind without worrying about me. But I don't mind. You think I do? I've never minded. I like it. I took advantage of you, Superman. You always had more important things to do. And now I finally found someone who thinks I'm the most important thing there is. <coughs> well, I guess I won't need you anymore, Superman. Heaven knows you never needed me. I've got to go. But Lois, Lois, I love you. Thank you. 